Uh, Mr. Satish Chandra, Director General of the Fertilizer Association of India, joins us today. Uh, thanks a lot for joining us on ET Now, sir. The cabinet yesterday approved cutting yeah, complex fertilizer yeah, subsidy money. under NBS, uh, which will be lower subsidy. Uh, do you think that this subsidy cut will lead to companies increasing fertilizer, especially in the retail prices? And if yes, uh, how, how much could be the increase? Well, two things are very clear. Number one, this reduction in uh, subsidy level and is slightly reduced from 27 to 24 per kg and similarly K is slightly reduced from 26 to 24. Whereas there is a steep reduction as far as P phosphate is concerned from 32 to 31, uh, 21. So uh, now this reduction uh, according to our understanding and uh, assessment will have neither any adverse impact on the former price they will not go up in any case and similarly the bottoms of the companies will not be impacted now this reduction in subsidy will be able to recover through lower international prices so no no adverse impact on former price no uh, impact on the fertilizer companies mm. The proposed reduction subsidy requires phosphoric acid prices to be at about $920 per MT versus the prevailing price of about $960 per MT in order to maintain margins. In a bid to conserve margin, companies will increase retail prices. Uh, will this not lead to fertilization imbalance? No, I think uh, as far as phosphoric acid is concerned, uh, as you know, phosphatic fertilizer we get it in three forms. We import the finished fert uh, phosphatic fertilizer, DAP and PKs. Then we make our own phosphorus acid. And then we import uh, certain quantities of phosphorus acid based upon which we make phosphatic. Now these prices are uh, uh, negotiated every quarter. And this uh, reduction, this number which you have mentioned, well, definitely we will be achieving uh, lower numbers. Uh, we, uh, there is no doubt on that. Mm -hmm. But the government had introduced the new investment policy in 2008 as well. But uh, that did not really attract any fresh investment from the industry. Do you believe that the new policy addresses, uh, it will address the shortcomings of uh, the old policy and will be able to attract uh, new investment? Now you are talking of the urea sector. Yeah. This investment policy is only for urea sector, not for phosphatic and potassium. So now coming back to the urea sector, this uh, policy, yes, uh, gives us some comfort zone to go ahead. But the bottom line in uh, finally companies coming forward and uh, setting up of the additional facilities, either expansion or new plants, will be the availability of the gas. Now one plant is already under uh, uh, implementation, uh, uh, that's a greenfield plant. So that is likely to be commissioned next year. Others, the bottom line will be availability of the domestic gas, even if we are able to get a certain good percentage. I'm not saying that we should get 100%, but even if we are, say, able to get 60 to 70%, then LNG and mix of domestic gas will uh, make it possible for new capacities to come. This is an improvement over 2008 policy, where the, there is a comfort of the floor level so that investors will not have much difficulty in having the uh, in the companies having the financial closures etc the policy also proposes the government will pay for gas subsidy for gas up to about uh, 14 dollars per mmbtu what happens when the gas prices rise that's above right, 14 dollars right. will the industry be allowed to raise retail prices of urea absolutely 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 okay. this is the issue which we have flagged with the government and uh, I think a solution is being found. Now this proposal has been cleared by the GOM where this issue has been discussed and a solution to this will be there when the proposal finally goes to cabinet for approval. So we are confident that how to deal with gas price beyond $14 uh, will be addressed. This exactly is what I said that if we have to set up these plants based upon imported LNG then obviously our spot gas, the prices are today beyond $14. So then the question is, uh, uh, where is the policy beyond $14? And uh, the bottom line, as I said, some domestic gas must be given 
for the additional capacities, uh, that, that, that is going to be very, very critical, crucial in more capacities coming up. Mm -hmm. Mr. Chandra, there have also been talks of government mulling uh, to cut gas supplies for companies manufacturing complex fertilizers. What are your comments on it? Well, uh, there was a move definitely, and this issue was discussed in the GM meeting on 24th of February last month. And uh, the government has decided that uh, there will not be any cut. We see no reason. Fertilizer is a fertilizer, and uh, whether we make we take N uh, either through urea, that's one. I can take it from DAP. One can take it from NPKs. Now, if this logic is taken to the logical conclusion, will it mean that? Uh, Tomorrow, if NBS on urea ca comes, the gas supply to the urea units will be cut. Similarly, there are other policies of the government of India balanced fertilization, which I just mentioned. And uh, there is a policy of NBS, where uh, 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 government is not concerned about sourcing of the raw materials, etc., whether they are domestic, imported, intermediate, etc. So, we cannot have a policy which goes against the other stated policies of the government. So, a decision has been taken that they will continue to have the gas. So, this issue is over according to us. Right. Uh, before we wind up then, sir, what would be your uh, expectations uh, now that uh, we're closing into budget? Expectations uh, in context of what? What the exactly? the sector. Uh, expectations from the budget. Well, uh, our expectations as far as the fertilizer sector is concerned, we are looking for NBS for urea sector. We want the urea sector to be decontrolled. Uh, that will be the next major step after P and K. And once that is done, it will be a win-win situation for the government, for the industry, for the farmers. And uh, that's the next major step. The earlier uh, it is taken, the better it is for the country, for the farmers, for production, productivity, soil health. So you want NBS for urea sector. Satish Chandra, thanks a lot for taking time out for us and joining us on the show today. Thank you.